we're going to create this vertical accordion with no extra code and no extra plugin. So purely using the new Elementor accordion, you know, the one from version 3.15. So stick around. On the screen, we have two containers over here. They're blue and I've just put a header in there. Because when I add in the accordion and I rotate it, you're going to see it creep out. But I'm going to show you how you control that. I'm not bothered by how big these containers are above or below. What's more important is the container used that's going to house the accordion. So this is just a standard container. There's nothing fancy about it, but the key bit is I've gone and set the height to be 500. I've also justified it and aligned it to be in the center center. You can modify that, but center center works really well. But the key key bit is the 500 pixel because my accordion is going to be 400 when it's rotated in terms of how tall it is. So if your accordion was going to be 500 pixels in height, then you might want to make the height of this container be 600. So I've got 50-50 padding up and below it. Inside of here, we're just going to go and drop in the accordion. There we go. And it's basically how you would normally expect it to be. Now, what I am going to do is very quickly into here, I'm going to drop in a container into item number one. And I'm also going to ensure that everything is kind of zeroed out at the moment uh, in terms of the padding inside of there, because I want to be very, very precise. And in, into here, I'm actually going to go and drop in a background image because I want to show you what happens to the contents as you start to rotate. Because It's going to do something you least expect. But don't forget, everything we're going to do here is with zero code, all right? No CSS or any Java scripting or anything like that. Let's go pick a background image. Now let's sort out the size of the actual accordion. So let me just open up my navigator over here. Let's go to accordion, go to the advanced tab, go to width, set that to be custom, and I'm gonna put it as a pixel, and I'm gonna say set that to be 400. Because that is how tall it will be when it's rotated. Remember, we're rotating everything over here. Now I'm gonna to go to my container that sits inside of here. I'm going to go over to the layout and I'm going to set the width of this to be 400 and the height to also be 400 as well. So I get a nice square. Now, while we're here, let me just drop a header and some text as well into here. And I'm also going to give the container some padding of about 30 as well. Just something like that. I know it's not wonderfully clear, but you get the idea. In fact, let's just put the text to be in the middle. I've gone and changed my image just to be a little bit clearer. And please do remember that the image actually goes into your container because it's relevant for each particular item. Now I'm going to rotate the accordion. Okay, so we click on the accordion. We then go over to the advanced tab, scroll down until you get to transform, click on rotate. Now this is where I want you to pay attention to these items. I'm going to start to rotate it that way. Okay, because I want it to sit at the bottom. Notice what happens when I get to 45 degrees. Do you notice that the accordion is 45, but look at the text. The text inside has gone a full 90 because the items inside double up more than what you expect. So when I get to, well, as I decrease this more and we get to minus 90, let me just do that a bit more precise like that, the text has now gone a full 180. And you might think, well, all I gotta do now is make this container be a 180. Well, I'll show you what happens when you do that. You go to advance, you go to transform, you go to rotate, and I'm gonna go and type in 80. Look at the text. It's completely messed up. And when you start messing around with, well, what if I do this? What if I do that? Look, it just does not play ball with where you think it needs to go. So here's what you do to get everything back to be correct or look correct. We're going to go to the container. So remember, this is the accordion, okay? The accordion is a minus, one eight, uh, minus 90 to put it down here. We then go to the container that is inside of item one and we are now gonna flip it. Well, when I say flip it, we're actually gonna put it back the other way. But what we're gonna do is go to rotate. Don't do 180, even though it looks like a 180. What you're gonna do is a 90 like that. Can you now see the image is in the correct position? This is what it was like before. The text is 180, but that's gone to a minus 90. You go to 90 to get that right, but the text is still all over the place, right? This is how easy and simple it is to fix. You go to the heading. Now, for every item you add into here, you are going to have to do this. But if you do the first one and then just copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, all you've got to do is change the content. 
that every item that's in here, button, text, header, subheader, whatever you've got, you go to the advanced tab, you go to transform, you go to rotate, you do not type in 90, 180, minus 90, no. You type in zero. That's literally it. You go to the text editor, you go to transform, you go to rotate, you set that to be zero. Let me just show you that if you were to go and drop in a button now, the button will look like that. There's the button. You go to the button, you go to advanced tab, you go to transform, you go to rotate, and you change that to be zero. And it is now going to behave exactly as you expect. If you go to the container and you decide, well, I don't want to have um, column, I want to have row, fine, I want to wrap it, whatever you want to do, I want to align it. You can do all of that. All of the standard functionality that you're normally used to will be available for you again. Let me just get rid of that button because I don't want to really show that. But that's it. And what you then do is for item one, where you got the container, go and copy it. Now go to item number two, go and paste it. Now go to item number three, go and paste it. And basically, if I just go and do this now, you can see, in fact, let me just, uh, let me just go over to item two. Let me just zero everything out there, go to item three. Remember to zero, zero everything out so everything is nice and flush against how it should be. But if you now look at that, it's basically giving me the accordion style. And if you're worried about how that looks on the mobile, don't be. You will have to adjust your sizing because this is set to be 400. So I'm just going to increase the width of this a little bit. Pretend this was on the mobile. It's still going to work fine. Um, this is with no code. Okay. And if you follow those steps, you will have a vertical accordion, which I think works. Now, there is something I have noticed. Though we, I mean, I will point this out. When it sometimes um, shrinks down like that, completely it kind of moves it up a little bit and i'm still trying to work out the best way to get around that it's not a major problem but if it does bother you i'm sure i'll work out eventually what is causing that but without any code you can now have your vertical accordion looking how you want hey i'm imran web squadron like subscribe share and follow i'll see you soon never break always fight never quit do it right play the game win it life have no shame there's no time feel the pain let the grind i could change in my mind pick a lane commit and climb the only way to win it life i never miss that fact.